Hello, Robert here from the Checkfront team. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get started with Checkfront. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is create our first item. To do this, let's go to Inventory, and then to New Item. I'm gonna start off by giving my item a name. I'm gonna make it a tour. I'm gonna to call it Downtown Tour. I'm gonna create a new category to go along with this item. I'm gonna call it Local Tours. Click the checkbox and then hit next. The media tab is where we can put in photos or YouTube videos that describe the tour. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna leave this blank. Then over to the attributes, here's where we can set up, allow customers to tell us how many people are coming on the tour. So let's create a new parameter. We're gonna call it participants. I wanna make sure that it can hold pricing it has range and it controls inventory. Also, the visibility is going to be set to customers and staff. Great. Now I'm going to set the maximum number of people that can go on a tour as to 16. Great. Let's hit save. Next, we'll head over to the pricing tab and I'm going to set up how much it costs for each person to go. So set to $20 and we'll hit save. All right, let's see how this looks. So we'll go to preview and we'll go book now. This looks good. Price changes. Now I can already see a problem here. Customers are able to select the end date of the tour so they can actually book this tour for multiple days. We don't want that. We just want the tour to be for one day only. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our configuration and we'll go over to the attributes tab. We'll scroll down and underneath the allocation, we'll see that there is a fixed length. So we'll set this to one since it's just a one day tour. Hit save and we'll see how that looks. Great. Now people can only book for a single day. Now what do we do if we want to uh, run this tour twice a day? Well, let's head back to our configuration and set that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select time slots instead. Then I'm going to select a start time for 9 o'clock. And I'm going to say it runs for 3 hours. I'm going to add another time slot. I'll have this one start at 1 o'clock and run until 4 o'clock. Great. Let's hit save and take a look. That's not bad. I'm not a big fan of how it looks in this dropdown though. So let's see what we can do about that. We'll head back to our configuration and we'll open up this time slot settings. Now you can see here we have a little preview of what it's going to look like. So let's change it to buttons instead and let's get rid of the end time. Let's also make it so that it doesn't show unavailable slots. All right, I'm gonna hit save and let's preview again and see how that looks. Yeah, that's much better. Now, say we want to only offer this one o'clock time slot on weekends. Let's see how we can set that up. Let's head back to our configuration. And then all we're gonna do is under the one o'clock time slot, let's just deselect all the weekdays. And hit save. All right, let's preview that. Okay, great. So the 9 a.m. time slot uh, is only showing because we currently select a weekday. And if we select a Saturday, then the one o'clock appears. Now, the final thing I want to do is I want to charge more on the weekends since they're more popular. So we'll go back to our downtown, uh, downtown tour and head over to the pricing tab once again. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set up an item event. Item events are used for when we want to dynamically change the price or availability depending on the day or depending on, say, the number of people. So what we're going to do is create a new item event and we want to do pricing. So let's do a special pricing rate. I'm going to call this something descriptive like weekend pricing. And then what I just want to do is dynamically change the price. So we can use percent or a fixed amount. I'm just going to choose fixed amount. I just want to charge an extra $5. The applicable days are only for the weekend. I'm going to set the start date for in the past. 
Cyanodal to take effect, and I'm going to remove the end date because this is permanent. Then I'm going to select what items it applies to, and it just applies to my downtown tour. And that's it. I'll hit save. All right, perfect. Now let's see how this works in, in practice. So let's select preview, and we'll go and book our tour. And we can see nine o'clock slot is only open because we're on a weekday and the price is $20. However, when we select Saturday again, the price ups to $25 and the one o'clock slot opens up. Well, that's all I have to show you today. If you have any questions, you can reach out to support at checkfront.com and hope to talk to you soon.